I've got some mailbag stuff here. Let me show you what I've got this time. All right, let's see what's in here. This tape seems to be falling my ram stick. Packaging. All oh, right, okay. I haven't published video yet. I'll explain it in a second. Whole bunch of LED discs. Oh, yeah, they didn't, did they? Okay, I purchased some LED modules, as you can see here. There's a stack of them. I ordered two different colours. I said to them, make sure you specify which one is which, so I don't get them mixed up. So when I do go around replacing these lights with these new modules, that I know which one's which. They said. Yeah, we'll make sure we keep them separate. Yeah, they're separate, all right. <laughs> Are the markings any different? Not between those two. I think these are all marked exactly the same. I'm going to check all these now. I'll be back. So I laid them all out and they all look identical. The only thing is there's a very slight difference in the intensity of some of the silk screen on this one here and this one here. This one's a bit darker, like it's gone a little bit thicker or something. Maybe the silk screen um, stencil was a bit further away, who knows. But they've all got the same markings on them, the same codes. They look identical, there's nothing written on the back. I don't know which one's which, or if the sellers even sent me 20 of the same one instead of the two different colours that I wanted. Yeah, I'm not seeing any difference. They all look exactly the same. I'll pick two random ones. Yeah, look the same. Spot the difference. Can't tell. Bit of a mystery, I might have to try pairing them all up one at a time and see what colour I get off them. That's going to be fun. So I should really explain, these are for down lights. So these particular modules, I've got some down lights in various, I bought like a pack of 10, I featured them previously. And um, I'm doing a repair video, which I think will probably get published for this one anyway, which shows me replacing this module in a down light. And um, I basically only had a couple of spares left, so I wanted to get another set. So, but yeah, I wanted them to have certain colors. So I could choose and make sure I had the right ones which matched. Yeah. Right, let's see what's in here. That's tedious. All right, here we go. Uh, right, these are some MacBook parts. They're only all of five, that's surprising. Okay, only all of ten of things. So these are some MOSFETs. Focus, you bastard. it. Yeah. So these things. And just about get the codes of that. Just about there. I can't quite read what it is, but yeah, you'd be able to see on screen. Yeah, this is the MOSFETs for MacBooks. So there's, um, I've got a MacBook 2012 which I'm working on right now. Well, one of the ones I'm working on. It's a Retina. And I found this has some water, well, liquid damage on it. And it's actually eaten right through a vial on the board, and I think it's blown a MOSFET. So I'm going to replace it, but um, as I haven't worked on this particular model computer before, it's a bit of an experience. And I really want to get it working because I want to make that my editing machine when I'm away. But uh, yeah, we'll see how we go with that. But that's just for that. Nothing that exciting. 
So it's an IR6802 device. I'm not sure it's complete code, there might be more to it than that. But um, yeah, that's it. Let me in. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You can't do a real knife. This looks like an iPhone battery. Three point eight two volts, six point nine one watt hours. It's got an Apple logo on it too. Interesting. I don't know what I got this one for. Why did I buy this? It's a six one six oh eight oh five. Is that an iPhone six S battery for my phone or for my wife's phone? I really don't remember. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. Okay. Oh, I got that for something I don't remember what for. I don't have any phones to work on. So, and a whole bunch more little tools, which I've got loads and loads of. Yeah. Right, let's find out what's in this one. Okay, did I buy this? I think I did. I need to check. Okay, this is an Adiska VC4 Plus battery charger. Now, ironically, I, I didn't really, I think I rushed into this all, but I think I've had to purchase a second one as well, because I also wanted one to charge up 9 volt batteries, like the PP3 tile style batteries, but this one doesn't have that feature. So this does quite large cells. Uh, does it say what range it covers? Well, it probably does in Chinese. That's all Chinese. There it is, English. Three amps times two, or two amps times two max. But it's got four compartments. I guess there's two like power up or something. I don't know. Susceptible currents: 0.5 volt, uh, 0.5 amps, one amp, two amps, three amps. 3 amps just from channel 1, channel 4. I'm guessing that's 1 and 4 there. The slits of all lithium, lithium iron phosphate, nickel metal hydride, and NICAD. Test internal resistance and voltage of battery. Hmm. What's in this box here? We have a charger with the wrong cord. Why do you want the white one? Uh, I think also runs at 12 volts as well. Took it back. It's got a 5 volt output on the back as well. 2.1 amp output. And a 5 volt, 12 volt, uh, sorry, bloody hell, I keep doing this. 12 volt, 5 amp power supply through a little 2.1mm jack. It's about 5 amps through those things, I'm not sure, just pushing it a bit. Dust discharge, battery activation, overtime prevention. Yeah, it seems they have a bunch of features. So this will be um, linked down below in the description as well. Make sure you go and check on that if you're interested in battery chargers. But there's another one I've purchased recently. I'm pretty sure I purchased it anyway, which does nine volt batteries too. So I need that for something which is coming up uh, at some time in the future. Just plug this in with a death adapter because you know why not? No one likes that. Um, death adapter, have a collection. The only buzzing sounds is probably just me getting fried. That's a really loose fit on that buddy. Oh, that's awful. Okay, the um, death adapter into my power board is really loose fit, it wobbles around, that's not great. So, there we go, that's what shows on display. No, there's no batteries in there. Let's get a battery. Now I'll come back. Oh, I have some batteries here. I haven't had four conveniently. 
let's chuck them in. And let's not put them in back to front because that's always fun. Positive towards the top. It has like a rib. It's actually a, a strip down there. So I'm not quite sure if it's even going to make contact with these. Because these are slightly recessed. There's a. Um, get closer. See, so it's flat on the outside. You can't actually see the terminal. Hmm. I can see a fail all the way. Already. Because that's a long strip rather than a bump. I can get tingles off that, that's fine. Alright. The other end's got bumps on it. That's helpful, it's not the end I want. But let's chuck one on and see if we can get anything out of it. Oh, yeah, it did get it because it's at an angle. Because it's not an angle. Alright, let's chuck the others in. Yeah, it's making contact, I'm surprised though. It is working. Must be just enough. Okay, here we go. There's four batteries in. Try to get something to see it on screen. Without the lights being in the way. All that rubbish. There you go. So we're seeing a running total of the charge, internal resistance of the batteries, and current voltages. So they're all at 3.6 volts. And it also gives you a time as well and how much current's going in. Half an amp, one amp, two amps, three amps. Cool. So that does seem to be doing what it's supposed to do. And you got individual controls for each one. So these ones only do those three stages. So only this one here and this one here do the three amps. And it's both, they're all showing lithium iron as well. They're showing a quick chemistry. I don't know if it's automatically detected or what, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Well, seems to work. Cool. So links for all these things are down below in the description. Make sure you go and check those out. If you buy anything from Banggood, or you ever do shopping from Banggood, make sure you use my link to get there, because that way it attributes any purchases you make across the site to me, and I'll get a commission. And this helps to support the channel a little bit, and helps me to buy more items and more mailbags. It helps to keep you entertained. So please do use my link, which is down in the description. And click on that, go to the site, and then bookmark that page. And that way it will um, or you bookmark that link directly, whichever you want to do. And that way it attributes it to me. It just helps to support the channel a little bit. And make sure you come and have a chat down there in the comments as well. I like to hear what people have to say and what people's opinions are. If they have suggestions or other things you want to, maybe, maybe things you want me to look at. If it's something which I'm interested in too, then maybe I'll go and buy it. So I do that sort of stuff too. And um, don't forget to use a thumbs up. Click the bell icon, it's super important. And uh, share the video too. Helps, helps the channel to grow. Catch you later. Bye.